frustration with this team and, mm -hmm. and yourself and everything. How good is it just to have a performance like this personally, but then also have the team win? It feels great, you know. Um, we've been down this pretty much the entire season, you know. We've had a lot of close games that we should have won, and um, we've had some games where we just embarrassed this program. So um, I just, it just feels good to um, be able to come out here and um, put two halves together defensively. I mean, offensively, we still shot terribly, but defensive rebounding is what we always preach. So I'm glad we were able to come out here and do that and execute. How big was this from a confidence standpoint for, for, for this team going forward? It's huge. You know, I mean, we're going on the road now, so um, hopefully we can carry this defense onto the, on, the, on the road. So that's the plan. Do you guys feel like this is the turning point, like much-needed game that you think you can turn things around? Um, yeah, it could be the start. Um, but I mean, like like I actually said, we have to take it on the road and we have to prove ourselves there as well. Um, and it doesn't even just start with the next game, but in practice. Um, so yeah, I, I think it could be. You guys have had some good defensive performances against some of the lesser teams in the conference. To be able to do it against the top scoring team in the conference, what does it mean to you guys? Oh, I mean, that's that's one of the things that we try to hang our hats on is defense and rebounding. Like I said, and Coach always preaches that, and we work on that every day in practice. So for us to be able to come out and actually put two halves together, um, especially like what you just said with the top scoring uh, team in the league, that's that's big for us. The hops. Well, I probably should have been getting back, honestly, but <laughs> um, nah. Uh, I don't know. It kind of just fell in my in my hands, honestly. Stanford tied it there, forty to forty, and then it seemed like you, especially, kind of got fed up and kind of said, "Enough is enough." Did you feel that from this team tonight? And the real rally cry there at the end. I just feel like we just needed to to finally do what we've been talking about. Um, I feel like we've done a lot of talking lately um, as a team, and I feel like we start we can start showing it more. So we're gonna try from here on out to. Just focus mostly on defensive rebound. And I mean, we're not going to shoot the lights out every night, so we just got to just focus on what we can control. Xavier, is that ankle still bothering you, or are you back to 100% now? No, um, I'm still taking medication for the game to help numb the injury. Um, it's still bothering me throughout practice, but uh, I mean, I'm keep <laughs> rehabbing, I guess. I mean, it's, it's still bothering me, but hopefully I'll be fine soon. Actually, with the way, you know, kind of struggle personally since you've been back. How good did tonight feel for you to be able to get out there and do the rebounding you've been doing, the scoring, uh, and do what you're used to doing? Yeah, it felt good. I heard I got my first double-double today, I guess. So, yeah, so I'm um, happy uh, about that. So, um, it's all credit to my teammates, honestly. Just just trying to battle. Just battle. That's about it. And Jay, you guys uh, finished strong in the close game. Hasn't happened a ton this year. Mental toughness, is that part of the talking as a team together? Definitely. That's one of the biggest aspects, I think, of our team. We lose focus a lot um, through a timeout, through just simple things. And uh, I just feel like you need five players to be on the same page in order for a team to go to run. So if so one person's off, then everything's off. Actually, uh, talk about the defense. And uh, what did you guys do against Stanford to kind of play such solid defense for 40 minutes? What was it that your focus was? I mean, we didn't do anything different than what we normally talk about. Um, this was actually like one of the most principal games that I think that we could have played. Um, like they didn't do anything too special that we don't guard almost every day in practice, um, whether it be ball screens, back screens, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I mean, it was great for us to uh, put 40 minutes together. I think they only shot like what, 33%? And that's one of our numbers. We, we try to hold teams under 40% and we hit that. Was it just a matter of execution tonight? <coughs> oh, definitely. I mean, and obviously they're the top scoring team in the league and to hold them is, is a big credit to us, I think, um, for the effort that we put on put in on the defensive end. Actually, when you had the um, inbounds by 20 seconds left and Randall steals it, mm -hmm. um, can you just talk about how you came up and, and got the charge and were you surprised that he you know, went straight for the hoop and maybe not kicked it out or, you know. Well, I mean, Chase Randall is their go-to guy. So, I mean, obviously I'm expect him to shoot the ball. I was upset because I couldn't get the ball in. I should have called a timeout. That was my mistake. Um, but so the least I could do is step in and try and defend. Did you know that you were drawing the foul? Did you figure there was any doubt that it would get called? 
called that way? No, I didn't. Actually, I thought it was a block, but um, thank God it was an <laughs> offensive foul. <laughs> Do you guys feel like the monkey's off your back at all? Now that you're kind of back, you guys can breathe a little bit, not put too much pressure on yourself, and you just kind of go out and play and get back to things you're doing? No. Nah. No. Um, we've let down the entire Colorado organization this year, um, and we are sorry for that, and we need to be even better next game and just keep going forward from here, not back. Just keep going forward and keep getting better every day. What did you guys do to keep improving? You guys have a ton of little things, second chances, but how do you keep that mentality strong knowing that you guys have the start that you had? It's the accountability. I mean, in some of the meetings we had, we, we talked about calling each other out in practice and stuff like that. I mean, that, that carries over, I think, to the game, and I think it really gives us – not necessarily just a mental edge, but like a sense of urgency to actually do your job. And if you do your job, you're going to help somebody else out. Any other questions? Thank you, Thank you guys.